Today's review is on the series finale of Bless the Hearts. Yes, this is it, guys. Sadly, this is a series finale of Bless the Hearts. So, it's Betty's birthday, and she plans on having a quiet one. Jenny and Violet find it weird since Betty always wants a party. Violet then asks if it is a milestone birthday. Jenny and Violet then gasp after being silent for the first few seconds. Apparently, no one knows how old Betty is. Not even Jenny knows how old her mother is. I mean, Jenny is her daughter. Like, how does she not know how old her mother is? Even Jesus Christ couldn't tell Jenny how old Betty is. For some reason, Betty would have gave him some repercussions if he ever told anybody about her age. It's like, what the heck is going on? So Jenny and Violet do a little mother-daughter investigation to find out how old Betty is. Wayne gets the girls to take a trip in a free RV. Oh, and here is uh, his friend wearing a Dolly shirt from Dolly World, a blonde wig and shorts. Some of you are probably thinking, oh, that dude's gay. <laughs> Why, because he wear the color pink? And society tends to think that if you're a guy and you wear the color pink, something's wrong with you. Apparently men aren't supposed to wear the color pink because it's a more feminine color for women. It's probably the same thing if you wear the color yellow and purple because that's probably seen as a feminine color for women. But I think it's mainly pink. It's like, okay, yeah, I get it, but it's like men should be able to want to wear the color pink besides just women. So what if they're wearing the color pink? That doesn't mean they're a homosexual. If they were a homosexual, they would be attracted to men. You got to go by their sexuality, not because of what they're wearing. <laughs> Come on, man. You curse society. If society wasn't like that, the men would be able to not worry about wearing the color pink. There should be a rule saying that never judge a man for wearing the color pink. That way men won't have to worry about the pressure of if they should wear the color pink or not. But some men out there like to wear pink, they're not going to care, so whatever. Violet thinks it will be the best opportunity to crack the Betty's age case with them taking a the ride in the free RV. Violet cracked me up when she was the only one wearing a gas mask. <laughs> Jenny and Violet try to get Betty to tell them her age. But you can tell that Betty knows what they're trying to do. At the store, Betty buys some wine. The cashier asked her for ID, and that's when Violet grabbed her and Jenny took the ID. But the ID belongs to another Betty Hart, a Hispanic woman who was murdered. Betty has an ID that belongs to a deceased victim with the same name. Are you kidding me? And that sucks what happened to the poor Hispanic woman who was murdered. Whoever murdered her, screw them. And hopefully there has been justice for her. But yeah, there's another Betty Hart. Back in the RV, Betty and Jenny fight over Betty's real ID. Betty was hot. She was like, you bunch of but <laughs> I've never been to a Costco. What is a Costco? Then all of a sudden, a snake falls out of nowhere. Oh, heads no. Nah. A giant snake. Get rid of that snake. Poor Wayne. His eyes and face are swollen up due to uh, disco dandruff from the clothes were messing his sinuses. And it was funny when Betty was helping him out, she was uh, naming the uh, certain pills. And then when she said, Die eater. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> she, she mispronounced diarrhea. It's diarrhea, not diarrhea. <laughs> oh, she said diarrhea. Her country butt. That's what happens when you have that type of southern accent. You mispronounce some words. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. So she must have gave him the wrong type of medicine that caused him to swell up. And the swelling was so bad, you could hardly tell what the heck he was saying. So the snake eats... Betty's ID, then Wayne kills it. The four of them put the snake in a body bag and then put it in the dumpster. Plus, they don't know that they are seen on camera. So, obviously, the people who were watching them, they probably think that they murdered a human being and put the human being in the body bag. They obviously don't know it's a snake. Jenny desperately wants to open up the bag to get the ID out of the snake. But Wayne angrily tells Jenny and Violet to go back in the RV so they can get to the ocean. They're all sitting on the sand looking at the ocean. And Wayne, <laughs> and Wayne hilariously told the girls that this is what he wanted to show them. 
the ocean and that they should put away their pettiness. I mean, Wayne said it with such power. I was hyped. I, I gave Wayne his props. I'm like, get him, Wayne. But, I mean, it was just hilarious when you could hardly hear what the heck he was saying. Dear, this is why I wanted to show y'all. Like, you can leave for the way y'all. <laughs> pettiness and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> get him, Wayne. Get him. Oh, man, that was hilariously awesome. Wayne had enough. All he wanted to do was show them the ocean. So, we finally find out what Betty's age is. Betty is 53. I honestly thought Betty was older. I thought she was like 60 years old. She didn't want to celebrate her birthday because her mother died at the age of 53. So that made sense why she didn't want to celebrate her birthday. And it was a big milestone for her. She also said that if Jenny, Violet, and Wayne care, then they would let her be any age she wants. Oh, so now we see why she didn't want to celebrate her birthday or tell anyone what her age is. But either way, they should know how old she is, Betty. I mean, come on, especially for your daughter's sake, Jenny. Don't even know how old you are. And just because they want to know about your age, but you have a reason why you don't want to tell them doesn't mean they don't care. They just want to know, and they should know. It's like, come on, Betty, get it together. <laughs> The four of them end up getting arrested and they end up at the police department. And there is a reason why there has been scenes of the four of them in jail. Betty obviously isn't going to say anything. She lies about her age and so do Jenny, Violet, and Wayne. Oh, and fun fact, Betty was born on June 20th, 1968. And the series finale, of course, premiered on Father's Day in the first day of summer, which was June 20th. So I like what Bless the Hearts did there. I like how Betty's birthday is on June 20th and the series finale premiered on June 20th of this year. That's dope. And Betty's ID picture is horrible. She looks so drunk. <laughs> Jenny, Violet, Betty, and Wayne are free to go as they go back to the ocean. The series finale ends when seeing the rest of the characters of the show in the sky, like Brenda and Louise, David, and others. So, this has been my series finale review on Bless the Hearts, Betty's Birthday. It was a good series finale, very funny. It just sucks that this is it. No more Bless the Hearts. Hopefully there are some petitions out there to get Bless the Hearts to return for a third season. Even if they do come back for a third season, they're probably not gonna come back on Fox. Fox don't be doing their shows right, man. They did with Futurama, American Dad, Brooklyn Nine Nine, and now it seems like they're doing it with uh, Bless the Hearts. Tell me your guys' thoughts on the series finale. Did you enjoy it? The men out there, hopefully you guys had a nice Father's Day. You should have had a good Father's Day in the first day of summer, watching the series finale of Bless the Hearts, the season five premiere of Rick and Morty, which was epic. It was such a funny episode premiere. There was also the Amazing World of Gumball, Gumball Chronicles short. Then there was also that Teen Titans Go Space Jam crossover where the Titans are just watching Space Jam for the first time. Well, except for Cyborg because he's seen it. I'm like, really? This is the crossover episode where Robin tries to prove to the Titans that the nerd lux are up to no good? What a waste of a crossover. Anyways, that's it. See you later.